Now we're going to look at an example of the relative frequency approximation for probability. And what we're looking at here is a two-way table representing um, the passengers on the Titanic. Uh, in the rows, we see we have the passengers classified by what class ticket they bought, first class, second class, and third class. And we also have them classified across the top there by whether they survived or died um, uh, as a result of the uh, shipwreck. Um, let's take a look at this example. The example says, assuming that one of the 1,316 passengers is randomly selected, find the probability that it is a passenger that survived. All right, well, we're going to use the relative frequency approximation. And in this approximation, we say that we want to look at the number of times the procedure was repeated and divide that into the number of times that the event occurred. So we have to define what the procedure is and what the event is, and then find the probability of that event. The first thing is defining what the event is. And let's see, we're looking for the probability Looking for the probability that is a pass that it is a passenger that survived. So A is going to be the event that we select a passenger that survives. Okay, so that is the event. The event A is we select a passenger that survives. What we want is we want to find the probability of A. So we're looking for the probability of A. And the formula says the probability of A is the number of times A occurs. So we need to find the number of times A occurs. Well, if I look at this chart, I see this entire row here, or this entire column here, represents people that survive. So looking in that entire column, I'll find the survivors of the shipwreck. And if you do that sum, you get 498 people survived the shipwreck, or passengers survived the shipwreck, because they were also crew members. This is just a representation of the passengers. And the next thing we need to look at is the number of times the procedure was repeated. Well, they actually specifically asked us that, uh, to look at one of the 1,316. So the number of times the procedure was repeated is 1,316. So it turns out that the probability of event A, so we're putting the event A into the probability function, and then we're going to use relative frequency to assign a probability to this event. And that is going to be 498 divided by 1,316. So what we want to do here is we want to convert this to a decimal, and the decimal here is 0.378. So the probability that we select one of these 1,316 passengers and just happen to select a passenger that survived is 0.378.